Are we live? I think we are live. <laughs> oh, better be oh yeah, shit. baby. Sitting here looking all crazy and current on. I don't like that. We're live How's on that YouTube. We're live on setup. Twitch. We're live on Facebook. We're live wherever you are, and we thank you for listening. Correct, correct. We've got a great episode <laughs> lined up for you. We are the Outcast Podcast. This is where a black man, a white man, and a brown man, they walk in, and you get a podcast, and it's so offensive. It's right here for you. We are the <laughs> Fried Guys this week. Hell we yeah, man. We're Literally. Literally. Every week, though. We're going to get fried, and we'll tell you more about it. We're also <laughs> six months away from the election. Oh, no. We have got college yeah. campuses that are up in smoke. And we've got a lot of other things They've to get been to that since uh, the 70s. on the show today. I'll introduce you to the outcast. Say what's up, what's up to the OG, Ramo G, Ramo Stamos. What's up, the what's brown go- guy? What's going on, man? Yeah, that's what they call me here. Not that kind of brown. Ramo. Yeah. Oh, yes, it I is mean, that I, I kind of brown. One. Probably after that's today's right, show, bro. sure. Yeah, probably. We got the black guy. Not He's me. your brother from another mother. He's everywhere. He's Memphis on He's air. Black. What's going on, Memphis? Bitches love me. Yes, they do. And you've slept with women in... What, 48 of the 50 U.S. states? Is this that is true. I'm sure they're glad ta- you're referring to them listen, as bitches. Hey, hey, I, I was talking with the wife the other day. We were joking about it. I said, you know, we should go for 40, 48 and 50, baby. And she was like, uh, nah, motherfucker. Let's, let's knock it off. So, damn. 48's fine with me. We have mm. our white guy, our resident white dude. He's uh, not really that white guy. Used to Memphis be. Memphis just set the bar high. I got to come up with something yeah, like that. Yeah, I really yeah. do. So you better top that shit, motherfucker. The white guy, DJ What's up? Tomcat, he's looking <laughs> awfully tan. He's an awfully tan white guy. He is. Yeah. He's eye tan. It's hot, man. It's getting into summertime here in it's, uh, Florida. Welcome. Welcome to it's the show. It's a hell of a drug. It's hot. <laughs> Yeah, huh? That's yeah. Taylor Swift song. I probably shouldn't have did that. Yeah. Why you know Taylor Swift songs, man? What's uh, going well, that's on? a good one, though. That's probably the best one off our album. Oh, no. Why did I know that? I shouldn't have known that. He DJed at the beach, so I understand. I'm not a Swifty, though. Not, not with this new Taylor no, Swift well, you joint. You don't have to be. I heard he's putting up some serious numbers, though. It's Taylor Swift. Yeah. yeah. Why not? On the, not on the basketball court, though. She'll get dunked on. All right. Do you guys know what this weekend is? It's a big weekend on the calendar. No. Uh, what is it? It is. You guys don't know what this weekend is? No. It is Mother's Day. Mother's is it Day. Bastards? Yeah. Already? You slimy me, bastard. Got your mind. God over. dang. It's My mother's birthday was just last week. It's Mama's Day this Sunday. You don't want to forget about your mother. For those of you who don't have I know. their mothers around. You Shout know, out to mothers. I do. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I had to go love see to my mama. Even sending love to you. So getting, Hi, getting yep. to know love the you. outcast, uh, Ramo, what is your mother's name? If you don't mind telling the, audi- the audience. Connie. Connie. Yeah. Okay. And Memphis, what's your mama's name? Michelle. Connie, Michelle, and Tomcat, your mom's name. Sandy. Sandy. <sighs> Very nice. And I'm not sound like they could be in like a like a music group or some shit. Connie, Michelle, and Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the sixties. Yeah, yeah, probably so. And uh Tomcat, could you tell me your greatest memory that you can think of right off the top of your head with you and your mom? Greatest memory of all time. Definitely fishing. When I was younger. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. She, would she bait your hooks? Yeah, she showed me how to fish. We catch a lot of catfish, but we did catch one giant redfish one time. Nice. She always talks about that. And uh, Memphis, <laughs> do you have any great memories with your mother? Yeah, I got Michelle, a, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got a few moms. Uh, the, the, kind of the piggyback off of TK when she taught me how to cook as a kid. I mean, I kind of had to because I was the oldest. What was the first meal that you were cooking up with her? Chicken, a piece of chicken. Fried chicken. I was frying chicken at seven years old in the house. Nice. And that's your greatest memory, cooking fried chicken with your mother. Well, that was the first thing. She, like, she taught me other shit, but that's the first one that came to my mind. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, man. I, I, learned how, I, I learned how to cook from my mom. I man, been, I bet that smelled it, good. Did oh, she put fire, that bro. egg on in first or the batter in first? Uh, what are you talking we about? We don't use so When you make, you don't use egg. No, we use, like... Uh, Flour? You just hush it up, Rainbow. This, this, this is fried chicken talk right Actually, here. It's southern it, it, stuff. Shit, I'm about to get y'all. I'm about to get right. y'all part of the rest. Uh, so I'm just gonna tell you how yeah, we come do on, it. Throw down. We're like we'll get That's like uh, bacon, uh, bacon flour, and then there we add a little water. Sometimes you do milk if you want a little fluffy, uh-huh. and then you add your herbs and spices, sure. whatever that may be. Because sure. mom, I am not giving away the family secret but no sure. I want to come home sure. and not mm. look over my shoulder so I'm that's I, yeah. as far as I'm gonna go and then you put you can use vegetable oil or whatnot or canola oil which I prefer and you fry it till the chicken's ready to come out and then you enjoy it so so, so far Delicious. we have uh chicken and we have fish fish yeah. and chicken with our two mothers finally let's find out about Connie 
What was she doing with little Ramo? What's the first thing that comes to mind with uh, you and Mama Connie? I mean, definitely it probably has to stem like everybody else with food and eating and yeah, <laughs> Ron Brown, Ron Brown, Ron totally Brown. Ron Brown. But uh, yeah, no, 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 definitely. Um, and as far as like eating food, like a food I remember eating that she cooked. Definitely rice and beans was. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you got to embrace your stereotypes, don't you? That's what I, I mean. But saying. isn't there chicken, yeah. chicken and beans and rice? What's that uh, called? Dude, dude, dude. I'll tell you what. Yo? Yes, my grandmother made the best fried chicken that I've ever eaten. You know what, man? Gr- hey, grandmas, yes. for those of yes. us who, who, who the had to truth. be spend time with our grandparents, and we, if grandma, if you yeah. got a grandma that can cook, uh-huh. man, you'd be like. Ma- this, there is she not a person a in life Sorry, that will be able gourmet. to top grandma's food. Yeah, nope. 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 You, your true. wife could be a Michelin rated chef, and you'd be like, you know what? My <laughs> great grandma would have made them grains better than that, it's though. That's true. That's true. You know, that's it's crazy. True. Shout out to great. Shout out to Green, women, man. Shout great, out to women, yeah. man. Our moms and our sure. sisters and aunties and shit. Yeah. You deserve it. Happy Mother's Day this yeah, weekend. Make sure Day. you at least tell your mother that you love her if she's around. Definitely. And uh, Good Connie, thing we reminded you guys. Shout out to Connie <laughs> and Jack Michelle Jack. and Sandy. Shout Thank out you. to the moms. Shout out to our moms, man. I'll be holding smoke out with you later, moms. Yo, no, I'm mom. I'm kidding. My mom is yeah, like that's... my partner in space. So <laughs> when we, we and we have like spade games and go people, my mom is my partner. And we serious on that table. So you want to try me and my mom in spades? spades? I like spades. that game. Spades. Like, That's come fun. with it. Come got, with it and some bring dr- some bread some with drinks. you. We taking your bread some and smoke. you buying us you smoke, a nice drink. dinner, and I ain't cheap. The whole shit. I don't remember how to play it, though. I'll teach you. Yeah, yeah, it's easy. Time. You just got to trump. You just got to trump the other card. Oh, you like that trump card, don't you? Oh, look at that. Look who's talking about trump cards now. Stop it. Watch out. Thank you. Derp. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our uh, next. Let's move on to our next thing. This is going to be a actual game show here. Oh, this is fun. Now time for the Fried Guys guys. Challenge. This is the Great American Fried Challenge. I may suck at this. And this was my daughter's idea. This came from my daughter, Faith. Thank you, Faith. What up, Faith? Great idea. I don't know why she's watching this show, but... She's smart. She oh, watched it. Did Unfortunately, she get a permission slip to watch the show? They probably sit there and make fun of us. Why does anybody do? watch it? Gentry, we ought to give them, they need a permission slip. If you're under the age of 18, you need a permission slip to watch this yeah. show. What are you Kids talking about? We want to watch you, but, you know. Shout out to our newest fan, Mr. What Wendy. Mr. Mr. Wendy Germany? from the Mr. Wendy podcast. Oh, Mr. Wendy, what's up, player? What's up, Mr. Wendy? Mr. Yeah, we Wendy. appreciate it. We'll have him on the show soon enough. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. That's going to be uh, really? an episode. But Faith, fought, my it's daughter true. watched the show, and she said, you know, you guys got to spice it up. You need to have a game. And she also noticed that you guys were fighting. So she said maybe we Uh-oh. should use Who? it. You, I think on one of the shows, Memphis and Tomcat were getting oh, into yeah. it. Oh, that was like no. the last week of the week before last. They were just they I were didn't notice brothers that. having a disagreement. So she said yeah. you guys should have like a contest, and then you can do a shut-up button. I like it. I didn't know they made them, but as you can see on my camera here. They make them. I have a shut-up button, and it'll say things like, you know, you just hit the button. And Yo, bro, says, shut up. All right, so there's like it's the shut up button, and then I'm thinking a member of the Outcast family here. If you win the fry challenge, the fried guys challenge, you'll get your hands on the shut up button. That's fun. And you can shut up another member of the Outcast by just pushing the button and saying, "Shut up." How long do you get to shut, to shut up? up. Like, For long? just one segment. Just the, oh, just I'm talking. The, oh, so the whole segment. Oh, I can't segment. wait. Oh. That's classic. Oh, let's bring it. Let's and he'll go. turn your mic off, he says. That's I go. Him, so you can't talk for a whole segment. Oh, you don't want to be yeah. on those so other side. Whoever of that, wins man. this challenge today, it is <laughs> the, right. this is the Fried Guys Challenge. If we could have Jordan come in at, from out of the truck <laughs> and bring in the blindfolds, because oh. today's challenge, you will have to be blindfolded to that's fine. complete. Oh, I'm already this blind. That's why I wear these shades. Yeah, he, yeah we probably don't even have to put it on Ramo. He's, he's just blind folks. already. Uh, on his car, who said that? Little, I can't the, even see. The Walker where, things on his car. It? Ramo got them on his car, like so when he one. know how to turn corners and stuff, he got them blind ones. We have three different blindfolds. One is from a flight that I took. Uh, and then uh, one is some kind of a face massager, and then the other one is. <laughs> you gotta take your head off, man. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, TK's head looks like he's putting on the face Don't massager. Don't let it defeat you, TK. Don't let it defeat you. No. Hey, yeah. Look at that! Yay! Look at round of applause, Tomcat. We love you, baby. And right. actually, you should wear those when you DJ. That's pretty fun. <laughs> you look kind of like Daft Punk. Yeah, yeah. Don't you know? Yeah, Daft Skunk. <laughs> like between Daft Punk and and uh, Dead Mouse. 
All right. Does, okay, every, right. does yes, everyone have smiles. their? Uh, uh, every, <laughs> does everybody <laughs> have their blindfolds? Not yet. Hand them no. out to everyone. Hand out the blindfold so that everybody Give your has son a break, one. dude. It's Yo, B. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. The way Fried Guys is gonna work, we've bought uh, fries yeah. from McDonald's. Which do you guys know their Jesus. tagline? Do you know McDonald's's tagline? You're Disgusting. loving it. Disgusting. Gotta have them ribs. No, oh, come pussy on. Too. Be fair. <laughs> no pussy, no McDonald's. Yeah, <laughs> I no, like that's that. Definitely not it. That's the, a good McDonald's. The, their tagline is "I'm loving it." I said that. We've also got the Wendy's fries here. Do you know what their tagline is? These Wendy's nuts. I know they got a hot girl uh, in their com- uh, the new commercial with the short hair. She fine as shit, bro. Look at her. Check her out. Ow. What are you talking about? Don't you get your blindfold Where's on? Where's your blindfold? Yeah, I got my blindfold on. So right you're just now. dreaming about it? All right. No, you're... we talking about Wendy's. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. Wendy's. I'm kind of worried about the, having my. The face Wendy's uh, tagline. Uh-huh. Where's the beef? That was their original tagline. It was. I remember the but old lady. The yeah. 2024 tagline. Line is you know when it's real. Oh yes, so, I've never heard huh? of that. So when you eat Wendy's, you know when it's real. Okay. When you take that big dump the next day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as it's the sinks at the bottom of the, the toilet. Is. That was real nasty. Yeah, whatever. It is, it's, Your it's, roommate knows it's, it's, it's real too. <laughs> this artificial ground beef or some shit. You Burger King. Got their that their tagline now is "You rule." Oh, you rule. Yeah. I love that commercial. You rule, BK. Have it your way. Oh. Send us a check because we plug in all y'all right now. So we would like some kind of uh, compensation, please. And then we have five guys in the house, and they are always fresh, and they're never frozen. And they have solid fries. They do. So this is the fried challenge. We are the fried guys. We're going to put a fry in your mouth. You're going to have to guess. Is it a McDonald's, a Wendy's, Burger King, or Five Guy Fry? We will start with uh, Tomcat. You guys can see nothing. All members of the Outcast podcast are blindfolded. At this moment. Tomcat has no idea. This is going to be fry number one. I don't even know where this fry is coming it's from. Which makes it really I know, weird. I know, it's like weird. All right, open your mouth. No, no you don't. Oh! Don't, you, you're going to let him touch the fry? This we is going to make get, it easier. We should get some water to like be able to like cleanse our mouth in between french fries. Like, cleanse your mouth. We'll get you yeah. right. I got water right this here. This is myself. a McDonald's I, french fry. I can't, I can't McDonald's prepare McDonald's french bro. fry. Very, uh, hey, very okay, nice. Okay, calm down, yeah, Tomcat. Yeah. That, was, uh, that was very good, Tomcat. You Next are up. correct. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Next fry. Fry number two. Let's see if Tomcat can go undefeated. Uh, this fry is fry number two. Go ahead. Grab a fry and stick it in your mouth. <laughs> nice, and, oh! nice and greasy. Yeah. Taste this fry. He likes that. Smelling the fry. He's swallowing <laughs> the fry. Don't chew you with your watching? mouth open. This is a Five Guys fry. Five Guys Maybe fry? Maybe a Wendy's fry, but I think it's Five Guys. <laughs> Fuck, oh, it's Wendy's. No, no, no. That was a Burger King fry. Oh, oh got interesting. They stepped the game up, dude. They told you you rule and you forgot about them? So disappointed. All right. Damn it. Stick fly. Uh, fly. <laughs> Stick fry number, what would be three? This is fry number three. So oh. far, you are one for two. I know this. That's fine, bro. You're good. Just go ahead and pull a fry and. Let me feel around. You this. got this, though. You Stop got feeling this. it around that one. Now stick it in your mouth. He's smelling it. Oh. He's eating it. It's five so, guys. Five guys. You think that's five <laughs> guys? Never. Oh, come on. <laughs> no. 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 Well, at, least, at least you know what the next one is. Damn it. No, he probably That's Wendy's. This Fuck. Okay. Uh, and, then, oh, and then this shit. is the uh, the final fry on the list. Let's at see least I get to eat this. it. Five guys. Damn it. See? Yeah. What's that? Low info. Right? Idiot. Nope. Five guys. Yay. Yeah, yeah, nice. Two out of two is not bad. Not good either. Two out of two. All right. Just, just kind of. No, I mean, that's fair. Trust me. Right it's, now. You, you are. That's 50%. Dang. All right. So that's far, the game is uh, the fried guy's game is off to a pleasant start. I got Tom cotton Cat, mouth. Tomcat oh, shooting my. 50%. Yeah, look at that. The next contestant <laughs> on the fry, fry guy game show is going <laughs> to be, like... let's go to uh, Memphis. Memphis will be this? next. <laughs> Memphis, you're number two. Right, are oh, we God. supposed to see now or no? No, no. Keep your blindfold on. Oh, okay. I like when you can't see. You just take a All nap, right. Ramo. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be fry number one. Fry number one. And we're mixing up what one is number one. And there we go. Go ahead and All get right. your hand on it. Smell it. Taste Where it. Where do I place my pants? Check, check. What do you think? <laughs> That's fry number one. Put the logo hmm. in front of the camera so we know which one this is. I would say it's a McDonald's fry. That's a, is that a McDonald's fry? Let's take a look. 
Oh, no? That's no. no info, idiot. <laughs> oh, man, that's harsh. That's harsh. That is not. Uh, you guys are not very good at this fried man. I get it's, it's, it's hard, man. It's not easy. I don't they eat are, fast food. Yeah. So, that's, that's, so it's going to be, I might, right. I might lose this, but I don't think I am, though. All right, now on to fry number two here in the Fried Guys Challenge. This is for the shut up button. I know Memphis would like to slap that on TK. For sure. So uh, what do you think? Okay, uh, now this is definitely a McDonald's fry. That's a, definitely a McDonald's it's fry. It's got to be. Low info. In no. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. You really suck at this, uh, yeah, uh, Memphis. Let's, yeah. uh, let's, go to, <laughs> let's go to fry number three. Which, uh, what's fry gonna, number three. What's going to be? Oh, this is fry number three. The fry challenge. Oh, gosh. I'm starting to get upset with my daughter about this game. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Does it suck that bad? Uh, okay, uh, this is fry number three. What do you think? I'm going to say this is the McDonald's fry. <laughs> I'm starting to get upset with my <laughs> daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going, bro, because at least you'll get one. This yeah. one. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's oh, bad. for three. I'm starting to get upset with my daughter <laughs> about this nope. game. <laughs> all right, this is the last fry. Last fry. I'm going to get them all breakfast. wrong. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what could it be? <laughs> Jeez. Is bad, you have man. to at least oh, get man. one right. Oh, man. Taste it. Put Just it in your mouth. Don't say anything other than the one you've been saying. Uh, <laughs> just go with it. What fry uh, did you just stick it's in your mouth? It's gotta be McDonald's fry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> he got that one right. You know what? Jesus. Look, you know how bad this is? Just to tell you that I don't eat fast food. No, at probably all, not. It, yeah, and it all tastes the same to me. They like taste, and that's yes. Nope. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, Memphis, you did don't not. Feel bad, you did dude, not yeah. win the fried fried guys that's challenge. All right. I, I have my I'm chance. I have too, my chance. Yes, yes. So far, Tomcat is in the lead, but yes. I have a feeling Ramo is going to come in so. trouble. Not sure I how I feel so. about that. Actually. My taste wow. buds are terrible, bro. Trust me. That Along with everything like else. <laughs> closer, closer, but still wrong, wrong. All right, Ramo, are you? Are you ready to rock? All right, how do I do this now? Wait, what's the, what's, what's, because you guys shake shit This is going to be fry number one. Just okay. go ahead and uh, stick your finger in there. Stick my finger. On, where am I going here? Yeah, there you go. Get, should I lick it first? Part. Just get you a fry, <laughs> stick it in your mouth, taste <laughs> it. Let's get the game moving along. <laughs> 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 Swallow. Squish, squish, squish. <laughs> Go ahead. Salty, what, mouth. what do you think of the taste of that fry? Hold on, dude. It's just enjoy going super on. Super fucking. He <laughs> loves it. And I have cotton mouth. Look at oh, him. He yeah. loves it. Blame it on that. He's going to want three or four of them. No, I'm not. Yeah, he is. Give me two or three more. He's drifting off. This like is Burger King. Weapon. Burger King. Uh, let's go to the judges. Damn. Yes. I knew we were going to be in trouble here. <laughs> I knew this Shit. was going to be. He's going to get all four, bro. Hold on. Like, can I, I have something to man. spit this yeah, out Yeah, in? give him a drink. Give him a drink. Yeah, I'm dying over here. I got caught mouth. You guys <laughs> smoke too much of weed with me. We don't I can't wanna, do this. We don't want to kill him on the I air. I can't see. I need an adult. Yet. <laughs> all right. So far, water. Ramo's off to a great start. It's coming. It's, coming. it's coming. As always, he's a high-maintenance contestant. <laughs> yeah, he is. Needs water in between each fry. I have cotton mouth. It has nothing to do with me being high maintenance. Oh, and I can't see where the fuck I'm talking. Thank you. Oh, gosh. All right. So he's one for one. Off to a great start here in the Fried Guys Challenge. Uh, Ramo, let's slap fry number two on you. Ah. What is fry number two going to be? Watch okay. the magic of Ramo. I love the marketing. He's looking underneath. Account. I don't watch what out. What are you talking about? Under, yeah. I cannot see. Yeah. I'm, you I'm watching you. You, you got to look up. I, oh, yeah. Is that why I'm grabbing my fucking microphone? All right. Look the other way. Look away. Look away. Uh, what do you think, uh, Ramo? Stick it in your mouth. Stop trying to rub it. <sighs> Stick uh. it in your mouth, Ray. You're not <laughs> supposed to play with it. Good. Why does it hit your lips? You aren't supposed to play with it. This is uh, uh -oh. this is definitely five guys. Oh my oh, wow. god! <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! He got it right. No, <laughs> way. <laughs> right. Yes. Holy I'm shit. telling you, watch. He's gonna get them all. No way. <laughs> Brother, we my water. You don't mess with the pudgy kid. <laughs> with the fucking fried <laughs> yeah, challenge. Yeah, you think I'm fuck a fat out of fuck here. for no reason? <laughs> Please. Fuck out of here. He's going to win this contest. For Every sure. Friday, I go to a different unfair, restaurant. Man. It's like he got an unfair advantage, man. What's, come on. Sounds like y'all going to be shutting the fuck up next week. Hey. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, I might fuck it up from here. All right. Me and Tom can't. No, you're going to nail it from here. This is the. Never mind. It's now, time for fry number three in the Fried Guys Challenge. Ramos, two for two, batting Ooh. a thousand with the grease. Uh, what is uh, fly, fly, fry number three? Is uh, This is uh, McDonald's. <laughs> I win. You're not supposed to touch it. He fucking won. I grabbed it and God. didn't even have to put it in my mouth. I, bro, did I tell you he wouldn't even have to eat it and he would win? I called it. Oh, my God. This is funny. What? All right. Congratulations. Congratulations, Ramo. Do I get to check the next one and see what it is? No. You know what it is. Okay. But give him the fry anyway as a, as a treat. No, I didn't want it. I'm yes, good. Yes, you want it. I'm you good from the Five Guys Burger we just inhaled. Can I take my mask off now just to see it? Yeah, take it off. No, Watch how the he, light like blasts your eyes. And everything. He's going to look like, like a little that. hedgehog when he takes his Did mask off. Did you guys throw french fries on me like confetti? That's a great idea. Oh, you guys. <laughs> you guys are assholes. <laughs> Congratulations. Why do I still have this on? Ah! Raymo is the most fried guy on the show. That's, <laughs> that's for sure. Yes. <laughs> I had a lot of practice. He now has the shut up button. <laughs> Shut up button goes to Ramo. You have it for next week's episode. All right. Well, I know who he's going to be using it on. Yeah. Memphis. No, I'm just kidding. If there's a he segment. Might. Make sure we have a lot of political shit. No, I'm kidding. If, God, if, there's, a, uh, if there's a segment. I'm not going to use it. That you want to shut somebody up, you could use it. Well, I want to hear everybody's now, point of view. Now, I do. It's use it or lose it if I'm right, right? Yeah, shut the fuck up. You have Because the next week we do <laughs> another challenge. Yeah, so yeah, you, yeah. You have to no, use it. Of course, of course. Uh-huh. I know a, that there'll be another challenge, but I don't know that I'll take my daughter's advice. I thought the bit was a C minus at best. I gotta take my cholesterol. Well, you want to try it? It took Slick. a long time. I told you it would. I thought it, it was fucking hilarious I, I, it because was. because was Ramo really is fun. large and he guessed all the fries. So I thought that was an A. Yeah. Way I'm extra large. When so the, you lived up to the expectations, basically. Yeah. Yeah. All right, dude. Look, I liked it. All right, I, I have teenage, or, or he just be, he's a teenager. And my other kid is a little kid. Like, I eat fast foods regularly. He's like, I got so a I know French fry from each of these places okay. in my car right well, now. I do. Look, check the back seat. Five Guys uses a peanut oil. I'm, I'm going to get you I'm gonna get you guys a, a, a <laughs> So, potato, like, you can taste cutters. it in that. It tastes just like peanut oil. Well, you can, or you can just make them at the house. And it's healthy. Congratulations, Ramo. You're the champ. I do. I do that, too. We make them at home. You win it's not diabetes. Healthier, though. No, I'm just kidding. I do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I do. I got to start watching. I can't eat that shit no more, dog. I got to oh, eat no. more vegetables yeah, and, like, less not. red meat. Yeah, I mean, how many greens so thanks you for the double diet, patty. You gotta what? Get, you gotta get some I, get, I, diet, I eat man. quite a few. Not enough, though. Yeah. Apparently not enough. You gotta take your Don't try this at home, folks. We're yeah. professionals. Don't do it. We need, like, what the, um, them disclaimer shits right here. Can we I need soda. Back real quick? Where's so the Sprite? Can we get a, dis- a, ex- a disclaimer? Wait a minute. Hold on. So man. we don't want nobody trying to come that. after us and shit, man. Ramo's idea of eating greens are the peanut green M&M's. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. Hey, <laughs> they have green ones? Burn! I think they do. I just grabbed by the handful. All right, let's and move, on. On. move on. Moving on to our next topic. We are six months away, almost to the day, from the election. It's coming up in November. Will it be Joe Biden? Sleepy Joe Biden, or will it be Donald Trump? Dreamy you know, with early, Trump. early voting, it's actually more like four months at you this can't point. Call, you can't call one sleepy and not the other now. You got to introduce him again the right way. Because oh, Joe's sleepy, uh, Don, Donnie, Yeah, quit being biased, uh, Donnie, their host. He, he, one is sleepy because he's stuck in court. The other is sleepy because he's nah, dying. Both old I did hell. everything right, and they both. indicted me. Both of their asses old and tired. You know they got to have a nap but be, uh, before yeah. noon. They're supposed to. Yeah. It's good for them. Old asses. The headlines <sighs> right now, as we're six months out, read wars, trials. See, he's playing the bongos. Wars, trials, and porn stars. That's the headlines. Love it. Don't be rude. I know which one I'll pick. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, let's hey, go. Hey, so uh, <laughs> porn stars. <laughs> from yes. what I, from what I've been reading, it says uh, Donald Trump is the slight favorite to win the presidential election. I doubt this it. according to the latest odds from a leading, finally a leading bookmaker. Uh, but what the, elite bookmaker is this? Yeah. But well, uh, like Betfair, betting. Betfair is saying Biden is the Biden is the firm favorite to win the popular vote. Mm. But Donald Trump the favorite to win the electoral college. No, mm. can't do that. Um. First, I don't. I ain't never heard of that that site, so I don't know how true it is. And, and it's not. secondly, it's I freaking May. It's May. It's May. 
Six months yeah, away. Yeah, man. we they, four months with early like, voting. I don't want to hear no yeah. about nobody sure. talking about no polls sure. or favorites because you don't know what tomorrow brings. So knock it off, yeah, those damn yeah. goofy ass polls. You think people are going to change their vote here in the next? Uh, I think. Hell yeah, I, I because think, there are a lot of people. Oh, I'm sorry, Rim. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I. What I was going to say is just I just think that um, people that are this extremely excited to vote this early and are disinvolved with everything that's going on or probably a little bit out of the ordinary. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think a bunch of regular motherfuckers are sitting around worried about this shit right now. Like they're checking it out and seeing what's going on, you know, being cognizant of what's happening, but they're not, you don't think people care about the election. At this, I, no, at this no, point. no, no. I don't, I don't think they're going out and making a point to, uh, put in a strong effort to vote and all this other bullshit. Like people got too much other things going on in their life. Like we'll get a fair number when we go to the polls in November. Democrats piss and we'll see what happens. And I'm a registered Republican, so thank you very much. So will you be voting for Donald Trump? Hell no, he's Don't not a Republican. Don't be rude. If we had a real Republican, I would be. Look <sighs> at this guy. That's 100%. a big difference there. That yeah. is a big difference because. That that Republican Party is fractured like a mofo. Sure. So I I like I said I ain't speaking on no numbers or Mm-mm. predictions or anything Mm-mm. like that because it today it doesn't matter. You know what I mean it's not even summertime yet. So I mean it matters to them and I understand that. I mean, you know what I'm saying that's good for them. That's, it's good for their campaign and, and, and where they the, where they can on. focus their topics and shit like that. But like as far as the regular citizen like. We'll see in November, man. There's no way. Like you're right. There's no way to see. Because you got you 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 still got to count the people who just don't talk about it. You don't know how a person will sway. You know, so anybody think they got in a bag? Either side is full of shit. Would you be uh, a Memphis? Would you be open to a debate and the two of them debating? And would you watch it? Yeah, I'd watch it. I'd watch it for the the the, the shit that we can get and crack on them about only, the next day. Only if Hell they yeah. have like two comedians off in the corner, like in a balcony, cracking jokes after answers and shit. Like if, if somebody like, like something live, <laughs> it had to be like the Muppet Show. You know, like on ESPN, great. like they have like the uh, like a national championship game, and they have like on ESPN <laughs> too. Like two up, like, the, like the Mannings be talking about it and shit. Yeah. That'd be great. Can you have like some roasters like this on an yeah. alternate channel that. and watching that shit? But I would watch it. I really would. Donald Trump has done a roast on Comedy Central. I don't know if you I guys bet, really. watched the Yeah, Donald I saw Trump it. Roast. It was actually pretty good. I had yeah. to watch it. No, yeah. that's roasts are awesome. Yeah. Dude, he's a celebrity. He always has been. Like, you know, you talk about like him getting more popular by this or that. No, he's not. He's as popular as he's ever going to be. He's yep. known all over the world, dude. He's Donald Trump. Like he's been know known for like a long. Time. Oh yeah, way before president, Sabina. all that shit, dude. Like he's Donald him. Trump. Like let's be real. All right. Well, let's. Uh, speaking of roast, let's talk about the uh, the roast. I don't know if you guys watched it. Did you guys check out the the roast of Tom Brady? Hell I want to yeah, see that it. Shit like, was is it funny? Hilarious. Yeah. So you watched it, uh, Memphis? Yeah, me and the wife. You watched it? it last night. No? We had uh, we had took some medicals you have it at and your shit. House? And we was on the oh, couch right. laughing our asses off, drinking wine and shit. Shout out to my love. So you didn't watch it live, so you did not get the version that had Kim Kardashian being booed. I heard no, that. Yeah. I, oh. I, no, I didn't, yeah, the version I got was they. It, no, she didn't get booed. It was and whatnot. Man, but I was out of town. That's so cool. That's all right, dope. I, I can go on Twitter and type it in. I'm sure. I well, there were it. rumors that when Tom Brady retired that, that he was dating Kim Kardashian for a short amount of time. And there were a lot of guests there where they were selling tickets to regular patrons and they were showing up, you know, with their Tom Brady jersey mm-hmm. or their Gronk jersey. <laughs> and, of course. Of and so Damn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were probably the people <laughs> that were fans. booing. Patriots fans. Yeah, holes. They were probably booing her. But, yeah, I, I thought it was great. I happened well, to deserved. watch it live. Just Come on. It was on and I was like, let's check it out. Netflix dropped a bunch of coin on this. Yeah. My biggest question is, you know, why would you do this, Tom Cat? Why do you think Tom Brady would roast himself because now he's got a lot of problems. His ex-wife is super pissed because there was a lot of jokes about her hooking up with they her. They dogged her so bad. Jiu-jitsu uh, trainer that, you know, she had been going to eight courses, eight classes, karate Dave, classes a and week. And she's still a white belt. Yeah. <laughs> and the only bruises she got from jiu-jitsu are on her ass. On her butt. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, why, I don't why know. Do you, why, what's, what's the win? What, I don't understand what Tom Brady gets out of it. That's a good question, man. I, I don't really know it. You know, apparently he got pissed at one guy that was, like, talking about Robert Kraft getting the rub and tug there. 
And uh, <laughs> oh, I forgot. Oh, oh that's, so he told that's him, what he cut that out. Uh, but so I, you're. It's a good question. I have no idea why he did it. Why? What? Maybe just he doesn't because need the money, to get the think. attention. Like why all famous people like when the spotlight goes off of them and you're not Tom Brady anymore, kicking ass in football. Nobody gives a fuck about you. It's hey, true. how do I get the attention back on yeah. me? Can me, I, me? 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 Can yeah, I tell yeah, you a yeah, story yeah. real quick? I give me that. I actually last year did it. I DJed a party for Tom Brady. Here in uh in me, Naples. Me, 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 me. Interesting. In Naples? Yeah, in Naples. Where? I, did a, I did a private party for him at the Ritz. Okay, that's and dope. And he is who you say when you watch the roast, he's like that. He 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 wasn't like that when he was in New England. He was all stuffy and stiff and shit. But the moment he His came balls to Florida, that, oh. the moment he came that's... to Florida, that motherfucker was like, Oh, I'm about to be Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. in this bitch. That's dope. Yeah, he cools the motherfucker. Man. Nice. That's cool. I yeah. think we have a clip from That's uh, cool. From the Netflix yeah, yeah. special. If we could uh, roll the tape. This is where this... Jeff Ross uh, cracks the joke about uh, Robert Kraft. He, he, he talks about the massage parlor. Go ahead and roll the tape. Robert Kraft's cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that Kraft's cheese. So Tom <laughs> became a patriot, moved up to New England, and on the first day of training camp, that scrawny rookie famously walked into the owner Robert Kraft's office and said, I'm the best decision your organization has ever made. Would you like a massage? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow. Oh. Now here's wow. where Brady goes up and tells him to shut up. That's it. That's it. That's what did it. I love Robert Kraft. Don't I love say that him. shit again. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't say, say that shit, shit again. Look at I love what you do for the Jews, Robert Kraft. You're incredible. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> so, uh, That's great. So I, I, He's always rude. <laughs> people thought maybe that Tom Brady was really pissed off about that, but Jeff Ross went on Rich Eisen's show the, on the NFL Network, mm -hmm. and he said, nah, that was just Tom playing along and uh, trying to show Robert Kraft that he has a lot of respect for him and that he would stick up for him. He's like a father figure to him. So I thought Tom Brady took it very well with all the he digs did. that he, that he I had. I mean, yeah, Nate he, was going in. I mean, he, it was a bunch of motherfuckers. I didn't know who they were. And I'm like, God damn, Brady. They turned your ass up. And Kevin Hart, hey, he he hosted the shit out of that, man. He he had a – he hosted – I ain't going to tell you everything because you, it's, you, it's a bunch of other surprises – they, and people that showed up, it's worth the watch. That Tony Hinchcliffe, he was on fire. He was just one joke after another joke. I mean, who the fuck is this guy? They say he got the number one podcast. I call bullshit because y'all watching us. Uh, he's pretty funny. Yeah. We See, funny. You apparently he was. I had to check him out. You okay. don't say the, Tom, the jokes Tom can't say they don't hit? Is that what you're saying, Gentry? He means it. He's just mean. Uh, I, think no, he's doing, I think he's on his way. I All think right. Tom Cat's yeah. on his way. Thank you. His and news if, is awesome. I love, yeah, is. I love the way... Uh, that uh, Ross came all out when he came out with the OJ Simpson jersey on, and it was like, oh, it that said, was fucked up, man. On, on the back of it, it said Roast J Simpson or something yes. like that. Instead that shit of was OJ hilarious. Oh. Slow J. So that, like, that was fun. And I met him. Uh, OJ, you met him? Yep. I was killer, I bet. I it bet was. it was. Yeah? Yeah. Did you play any golf with him? Did he have no. a slice? No, it was backstage. He want to take a stab minutes. at anything? <laughs> no. Wait. No. Hey, hey, hey. Was he, he wearing any black gloves? He jumped on stage and then got out of there as quick as he could. So yeah. he was practicing? Yeah. No, this was way after. This was after he killed uh, his ex-wife. Oh. This was after the trial. He Were you nervous? Wasn't, he wasn't. I wasn't. There was 30,000 people there now. Was his head I was big DJing on stage. They say he had a big-ass head. Was it? He did. He was pretty big himself, but he was at that point, he was kind of older, so... You could tell that his football injuries had taken the best, gotten the best of him by yeah. then. So he was walking kind of a little hinched up, but I mean, he was still. You I know, mean, OJ, OJ yeah, uh, that was that's still at the end of the day. That's OJ Simpson. He rushed for like over twelve thousand yards. Murderer, I'm not, like that. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm not kidding. But. He did some great airplane. Well, you don't, know. yeah. Those naked there was like some great really airplane and airplane. Remember the beer? Was that beer commercial with the airplanes? He would chase the airplane down. Uh, I know I he went remember. to the airport. No, that was a Hertz commercial. Hurt, that's what it was. The Hertz commercial, yeah. 
I guess Nikki Glazier, she took home the crown for the best roaster of the night. I, I thought she was great. She killed that shit. I think we have a clip from her. If we uh, could roll the tape from the truck, uh, this is uh, Nikki at the Tom Brady roast. Making me cover it up, but seriously, Tom. You really are, I mean, you're the best to ever play for too long. I mean, you were tired, then you came back. And then you retired again. I mean, I get it. It's hard to walk away from something that's not your pregnant girlfriend. It's tough. It's <laughs> <laughs> brutal. Brutal. Look at him. Getting fat. <laughs> she was. And Tom getting... hates fat. I mean, do you guys know about his diet program? It is so strict. But if you follow it exactly as he does, you too can lose your family. And seriously. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Nikki Glazier looked hot, too. Yes, she did. I, yeah, she, I thought she looked really fantastic. And shout out to Nikki Glazier because she is a fellow Kirkwood pioneer. We went to the same high school. She graduated the two nice. years after my younger brother did. Yeah. One other thing that I took from watching this thing, which. Uh, you know, this word has been eliminated. Somebody told me that they play that game online like you do, Tomcat, where you shoot people. What, what's what's Call the Call of you, Duty. Who keeps playing with their mic stand? Ooh. Hearing I'm noises. Not, I'm not even it's Memphis because he's holding Oh, it. I got I'm holding <sighs> it. All right. <sighs> so uh, I guess one person told me they were banned from playing that game for using the F word. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they'll not, get you. Not, not the F-U-C-K word. No, no, yeah. The other one. The other one that you yeah. can't say anymore. The three yeah. letter F so word. It rhymes with maggot. When they when you play now, they oh, make you sign reason. they make you go all the way down and check this agreement, this licensing agreement that's really strict and says you aren't gonna use any like language and they got really strict on it, especially after oh, right. the George Floyd riots. Uh, after that they really started cracking down. Because when I used to play on it a long time ago, it was the Wild West, and I play with my friend who's African American, and we had to turn off the com the commentary from other people because they immediately would start using the N word, and he had to listen to it, and then he'd start, we'd start fighting, I'd start fighting with the people, and it was it was like the Wild West. So now they've cracked down on it. So if you get on there and you start using derogatory language, they'll boot your ass. I like that. We have a clip from wow. the Tom Brady roast because it seems like at the roast. They could just fly the F word all they want. Oh, shit. Are if we, we really going to do uh, this? If we could roll the tape, this is uh, from the Netflix special here. Why not? So many great quarterbacks up here. You know who doesn't pass? Kevin Hart on any movie he's offered. This guy's funny. <laughs> but we are here for Tom. Tom Brady is a patriot, which is surprising considering he looks like a Confederate fag. <laughs> 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 use, use, <laughs> use the use of the f word as, as you heard uh, tony do there he meant cigarette right yeah could could have they're not sure which word they hate worse confederate or the other <laughs> there, there, there were a lot of gay jokes during this i see a lot of the headlines out there oh kevin hart was funny uh nikki glazier killed it but nobody's talking about the gay bashing that went on during during the show, so yeah, I'm, I'm here. To, I'm here to stick up for the gays. They did. They. Really I cannot did. believe happened. that they uh, did this and they used the f word. I, I'm taken back by this because I thought you had to be politically correct. Only Eminem is allowed to use that well, word. Only technically, too. To be fair, I mean, they right. was mostly calling the Tom Brady gay, or they was some assuming that he was gay, or his teammates always thought he was gay and still think he's gay at some point. I don't know. It but, does seem like we are not know. allowed to use the term gay as a pejorative anymore and they went for it great word so there's that yeah i guess yeah. Mm -hmm. did you guys hear when they started talking about this guy alex guerrero he he made yeah who is that dude i didn't know at, at the at the moment when they made a couple of alex guerrero jokes i didn't know who he was so i was like let me look up this guy who is alex guerrero where if we we have a picture of him if we could put it up on the live stream this was after Tom Brady wins the Super Bowl. You see, he's looking at him with very lustful you eyes. You see the way he's looking at little Alex. Well, I guess uh, Alex he is cute. Alex was referred to Tom <laughs> Brady. He was. Uh, this is from an article that was in the New York Times. It says Alex Guerrero was referred to Brady as a spiritual guide, a counselor, a nutritional advisor, a trainer, and a massage therapist. Uh huh. So he, basically, he used to give Tom massages. Mm. And he's the godfather of Brady's son, Ben. Now, there's 
some videos I think we have of Tom Brady making out with his son Ben. Oh, I know it. Do we got that it's footage? Not making out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no, we Watch do this. have the footage. There. <laughs> <laughs> That's not making out. He's like, he, looks like he's like, giving him mouth to mouth. Yeah, he's just giving he's him a give kiss. A kiss. That's, That's dad that, kiss. That, that, yeah. that's they paused that video. That's doing too much. Come on. Look at the now. dude. Look at the edit they got. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, they totally stopped it. He ran. Yeah, that's just doing too much. Yeah, you, you, you and Jordan be kissing like that, right, Gentry? Well, no, well, no. I don't kiss my son like that. <laughs> uh, I give my son a hug. You know, tell him I love him. I don't need to mouth kiss him. You sure? Not at this age. No. He's like twenty five. He came up he? and mouth kissed Tom Brady. <laughs> that's kind of weird. <laughs> But this that Alex that. Guerrero He's guy, got a girlfriend. as they were dropping the F word and they were calling, you know, Tom Brady a little light in the loafers, they were saying that ever since he met this Alex Guerrero guy, that's when things went south with the Patriots when, he, you know, they didn't like him. Robert Kraft and his coach Bill Belichick hated this Alex Guerrero because he was uh, always with Tom, always at the field. And so a lot of his teammates were rubbing him about, hey, what's up with you and this Alex were. Guerrero? It's a spiritual leader. I guess he's he's leading him. Massage in some therapist. Way. Yeah. Let's well. let's air, let's air one more final clip. I think we have mm-hmm. one one more clip. Why are you guys there. so scared of gay people? What are you talking Nobody about? Said Nobody it. said anything. <laughs> Gentry <laughs> is sticking up for shit. gay people. I, I know. I'm just kidding. Shit, that's what he's doing. You ain't slick. <laughs> Knock it off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you watch out. Oh, this was a, a big. Sometimes they would go after and roast the guests. So it looks like uh, this is the guy from Dana White from UFC. Yeah. Thank you. He's an asshole. Is this is not my thing, so I'm going to keep this uh, short like Gronk's bus. Oh, Gronk, oh, wee, Gronk wee. took a lot of the See, dumb let jokes. Let me get into this real quick. It pisses me off. I flew all the way out here, and you guys give me 60 seconds. My name is Dana. Is that not trans enough for you liberal fucks? <laughs> That's funny. That is. <laughs> oh, Kevin right. didn't think it was that funny. Tom, <laughs> you played for the Patriots for so long that I was actually starting to feel like you were from Boston. Then I saw you run, and I was like, no, he's definitely from San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> Light the loafers. Hey, that's good. That's a yeah. good one. You do that's, laugh at that. That's awesome. So, that's uh, a great well, joke, dude. Yeah, great joke. But, oh, yeah. Uh, go, uh, no, People come questioning on. his sexuality. Yeah, so what? The whole entire It's show. not they were questioning even the it. Lesbian, they just making fun of Even it. the lesbian was like, motherfucker, you gay. I think it's okay if you... Are not gay, but if he were gay, it wouldn't be good. Why what if he is he? gay though? Like if he was why, gay, it would be bad po- because they're making positive. fun of him for being gay. But maybe if he isn't what, gay, it's okay. Maybe that's I why. Know. Maybe it, what if that's why him and his wife split up? I think they make a fun of him because out. he ain't came out. You know, it's <gasps> if he didn't come out. Nah, maybe that's we, why he listen, went after that guy. Me, about no, I don't believe that. Here at the Outcast Podcast, Tom Brady, we are not calling you gay at all. We don't care. We don't yeah, yeah, don't I, I was just it saying, don't matter to me. I was just noticing no, that us. that you could it appears you can sit there and rag on someone right. for their sexuality right. if they're, they're heterosex- not, heterosexual. Has, yeah. <laughs> if they're yeah. heterosexual. I mean, yeah. People used to crack on folks all the time, man. You y'all like, yeah, I didn't go to the high school I went to. They was dogging on you with call us or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, they, like, we had sessions on, on the bus. It was, it was it was when a, when guys when a when a bunch of heterosexual guys hang out together, a lot of times they devolve into questioning each other's sexuality, like on the right. You guys are fucking with that shit, you know, like using the using that word as a pejorative all the time. Well, and it, I think with him, it's just an easy like go to because he's so much seems like he's a bigger dude, but he doesn't seem as big as all the other guys that were playing. He's very know? metro. <laughs> And he is. His wife was very, wasn't she a model? Yeah. Was very, yeah. You know, she was the she, model. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, was she a model? She was the model. Like, this, they was cr- cracking on his head. Like, he's, so he's so handsome and all this other shit. He is a nice looking fella. Once you like, damn, dog, you didn't, really like that. Didn't Leo, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio uh, bang her before? Uh, yes, he did. I think he hooked up with her. I don't know if she's young enough for him. Interesting. No, this when she was young. This is when she was young and stuff like that. Uh, Leo had her a long time ago. That's all right. He ain't do none Yo, of that. Let's yeah, move on to our next topic here. Right, good it's idea. now time to talk about man or bear. 
<gasps> this is a TikTok huh? debate that has gone viral here in the last. I thought they banned days. that shit last month. <laughs> I know Man. what's taking so long. I'm just kidding. I didn't know what it Band was what? when uh, TikTok. When Tomcat Ooh. brought it up to me, man or bear, I was like, "What are you talking about, he man?" Thought or bear? He said, "He thought last I was offering month. you pleasure." <laughs> I said, he was neither. I don't want a man or a bear. <laughs> but I, I guess uh, women are saying that they, they were asked, would you rather be stuck in the woods with a man or stuck in the woods with a bear? They asked a bunch of women, oh, yeah, women this on TikTok. And most of the women said they would rather be in the woods with a bear than a, than a man. And it's got me thinking maybe it's because we're sexual deviants and, you know, we would want to play a little game with them probably late night. We'd get lonely. Zoom in on that puss. That is so stop, please. So I guess these, these, these women chose bear over man. Tomcat, where did you first see this debate? It's actually been kind of everywhere uh, over the past couple of days. And, and let me just say, I think these women have just never met a bear. That's why. They've met men. I think it's a They've reference. never met a bear. And what type of bear? Is it a grizzly bear? Is it a polar bear? <laughs> right? What the fuck is also, that also, <laughs> I love that what type of man are we talking about? Are we talking about <laughs> Mr. Roger? Can I talk? Go ahead, sorry. Yes, please, Tom. I'm Cowell. talking. Go ahead. Go ahead, <laughs> Raymo. No, I was just saying, he's kicking that dude's ass. That bear is. Yeah, we do have uh, uh, an audience on YouTube and uh, Twitch. If you're missing the video, the guys from the truck are rolling a fun little video where uh, a man and a bear are fighting. So that's fun. Go ahead, Tomcat. <laughs> I'm I just have an opinion. Sorry. <laughs> Shall I finish? Okay, so what type of bear? And then also, what type of man? Are we talking about Mr. Rogers? Are we talking about John Wayne Gacy here? And is she on her period? You see? Mm. Oh. oh. Good there question. Go. So, why, Ramo, do you oh. think that women would choose bear over man? I mean, us men, I feel like we do so much. I think it's more like a metaphor for, like, just the way that. Things have been going as far as all the laws have been written across the country and how they've been treated by and large. Well, not by and large, but, you know, just over the years. Like, if you think about it, they couldn't have a credit card until, like, what, 73 or some shit like that? Like, I was born before then. Mm, I probably shouldn't have given it to them at that's all. That, well, <laughs> <laughs> according to the pocketbook, yeah. It Ron was Brown, the voting that did it, yeah, That, too, yeah. Well, you know, all that. So, like... You know, I, I think it's more of a reference than it really is about, you know, actually meeting a giant angry bear. Now, what if it's cocaine bullets. bear? Sorry. See, That's it right. depends. If he has some of that cocaine, I'm sure they'll be down. I don't know about that, dog. Chicks like cocaine. Why, why do you think Memphis women feel more secure in the woods with a bear than they do a man? Is there something wrong with the way we're wired, you think? No, I think it's something wrong with there how they were wired. Where do I He's place so my hands? Yeah. Like, who in their right mind want to be stuck in the woods with a damn bear? Are you kidding me? You're taking it so, too okay, literal. Okay, so, okay, so, no, I ain't on that crap where you talking about, like, a hidden message. That's just fucking weird. That's how women are, What the are, hell? Though. So you mean tell it me sounds like I'll, women don't trust men is what I'm nah, taking No, I just think this. they don't want to be he, listening and held instance. accountable. That's what sure. that is. I think Ramo's on to something in the sense that women are trying to put out a hidden message, but what that message is, man bashing. Mm -hmm. Disguised as some type of shit. So we're supposed to like look. They're just It's just man bashing. Yeah. Just hating. Just, yeah. sense. You're just hating. That, sure. a, We'd be in the woods building a cabin, bitch, yeah. so you'd have a place to sleep. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just kidding. That's this another, woman's uh, his girl, I'll go over the dial. I'll be I'm catching the fish. Ass, you'd just be stuff. sitting there. No, I'm just kidding. That's it. She'll just smack you with the fish. She'll just <laughs> come on. Look at <laughs> you ever seen Naked and Afraid? Yeah, you'd be just sitting on this guy. You're getting a weight right across their forehead later. Bing! That's great. So what would you rather, uh, Tomcat, a woman or a fleshlight? Okay. Do you know what a fleshlight is? He got one. Four. What is a fleshlight? <laughs> Look it up on the internet later. Oh, gross. Well, you can't, you, no, he can't. You got to tell him what it is. He's a liar. Like I'm definitely not going to guess if I don't know Bring what it is. Bring up a fleshlight uh, from I'll take the woman Please for sure. don't. You take a woman <laughs> over a fleshlight? I don't know what it is. Are, they, are you guys looking it up in the truck? Tomcat needs to see what a flashlight is. 
<laughs> oh, that, that <laughs> looks really bad. Is that's a green? bad one. That's okay. A, yeah, can we get one of the... Well, okay, okay yeah. I guess we can. So we can. Eat. All right, right. I feel you. That's, that's fun. fun. That's the Shrek fleshlight? Is that, I thought that was one of those that's Doom... That's the Shrek light. I thought it was one of those Doom popcorn things. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Swing. That is the best y'all can do. <laughs> All right, well, I'll Just take the woman the again. Aliens. Yeah, woman what for, about, for uh, 500. What about great. woman or toothache? Oh. I'll take the toothache. He's good. His, nah, he's, he's so getting he's smacked he's later. <laughs> what about uh, funny. if you were in the woods, Tom Cat, uh, <laughs> a woman or your dog? Oh, that's Ooh. rough. What would you rather? <laughs> well, uh -oh. you don't got to feed the <laughs> Look dog. Look at that flashlight right there. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Dog's not going to complain. What movie is that? <laughs> I'm horrified. It's a bug life. Uh, it sure is. <laughs> how are you going to fit anything in that flashlight? For real. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Okay. So I'll take the woman. You yeah. take the woman. Okay. You take the woman. Yeah, I would take the woman too. Unless yeah. she is a dog. Oh, wow. Wow. Damn. That's messed up. Uh, that was I loud. knew somebody was going to do it. I knew somebody was going to do it. Glad it wasn't me. All right, we have one more topic to get to really quickly here before we get to Tomcat's not so good news. All right, Terrible. Good job. Good job. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been watching the NBA playoffs, but I've been very impressed with the Minnesota Timberwolves. They, oh, they balling, dog. Yeah. They got a player that's uh, out of Georgia kid that used to be a boss in Atlanta. Now he uh, went to Georgia Bull the Bulldogs, and then mm -hmm. he now plays for the Timberwolves. Anthony Edwards. Ant Edwards. He's a Ant name Man. to watch. Okay. He's killing it. They're up 2-0 on Denver. Saw that. But the big headline from Game 2 was Rudy Gobert, Defensive Player of the Year, by the way, in the NBA. He missed Game 2 of the NBA playoffs for the birth of his child. And there's some players out there, Gilbert Arenas, one of them, who's given him some shit for missing uh, a playoff game to to try to be at the birth of his uh, baby. What do you think about that, uh, Memphis? Should you play the game? It's the playoffs. You'll see that baby its whole life. Or would you say, hey, this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I need to I need to be there for this baby. If, if, if you in, in your home city and uh, – well, actually, no, they were on the road. They were actually on the road. They were road. in Denver. Yeah, they were on the road. It don't matter. I mean, if – if that's what's important to you, then I don't have no problem with it. You know, we just got the rest of the team got to step up, you know, because it'd be no different if somebody passed away and you had to, like, leave, you know. It's the same shit. So give him a written and shut the fuck up. Yeah, I got no problem with him going to the birth of his child and missing the game. Now they won. I would maybe have a little bit of a problem if they lost. Mm -mm. But, you know, it's all good. We won the game. We didn't need you, Rudy. They, they should be able to win without him. Oh, he's the defensive player of the year. Sure. You need that guy. But they still should be good enough to win without him if they're in the playoffs. Going up against the Joker, one of the best players in the league, big man. Sure. Does anybody still have their team in it? I know that there's $200 on the line. Yep. The, my Celtics in. We won the other night. Celtics. And who'd you have, Ramo? I believe I had uh, Milwaukee, the Bucks. They are gone. Wrong, Brown. Yeah, they're yeah, gone. Yeah, they're already gone. And uh, do you remember who you had, Tomcat? Hold on. I had it at the bottom here. Uh, we always do. do Nuggets. Got? Nuggets. Yeah. Denver. Their team is down 0-2. Denver. Yeah, they are. They're still, get swept, still, They're still in it. Swept, TK. They're still in it. Still in it. Good job. Yeah, they down too. Y'all about to get swept. All Usually right. I pick with the Vegas pick, oh, so. This not-so-good news is being brought to you by Liquid IV. We Little stay late. hydrated here thanks to Liquid IV. A little late. If you go to liquidiv.com and you use our promo code OUTCAST when you check out, you can get three times the hydration. You can get uh, um, vitamins, minerals, everything you need. Three times the hydration. That's good for your skin. It's good for your mood. Uh, and it's good for your urination. Uh, good for the kidneys. That's true. So when you go to liquidiv.com and you're checking out, use our promo code OUTCAST and save money at checkout. Uh, Tomcat, our not-so-good newsman, he's here with the very latest. Tomcat, what's going on out there? Obama. This is the news for May 8th, 2024. It is Mental Health Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. Today's birthdays. Enrique Iglesias, 48 years old. Gay. Okay. Bailamos. He's Puerto Rican. Harry Truman's birthday. Interesting. Don Rickles' birthday. Ooh. He's a funny guy. Yeah, That's he, was. Right. he was a great roaster. Uh -huh. This day in history. I'm trying to yell it kind of soft for you, Gentry. We don't need to yell the headlines. Yeah, yeah. Back in 1970, a month after Paul McCartney announced that he would he uh, leave the Beatles, the British rock group released Let It Be, their last original studio album, to hit the record shops. Interesting. 
Well, that's weird. All the way back in 1945, World War II ended in Europe. Awesome. Yeah, and then World War III began on the same day. <laughs> Only 40-some years later or whatever. 1950, police in Sekaborg, Sekab- Denmark, were alerted to the discovery of a corpse in a bog. It was revealed to be a remarkably preserved bog body and was given the name Tuland Man. You ever heard of those bog bodies? They're like really preserved. What the hell's a bog? Bog body. Bog like is like... A- like a uh, like a mummy or something. An yeah, ice? it's preserved like a mummy, but a bog is just uh, uh mud and tar. Oh, okay. Tar and shit. Right, that, right. That, Kinda like that when preserves they it. Sure, sure. Okay, I guess. Right. Yep, yep. Awesome. All the way back in 1902, Mount Pepe in Martinique erupted, destroying part of San Perrier and killing approximately three thirty thousand people. Fifteen percent of the island's population. That was back in 1902. Wow. Today we celebrate. You know, Damn, up. that was loud. Jeez. Receptionist Day, Reward Yourself Day, <sighs> but it is also Donate a Day's Wages Day. So I'm going to reward myself and not donate a day's wages. It is also Have a Coke and a Smile and Shut the Fuck Up Day. <sighs> it's National it. Have a Coke Day. <laughs> you can have the others too. That's for your first story of the day. A Los Angeles bus driver was seen in a video fighting back against a woman who attacked her on Sunday. All right, let's see The it. incident unfolded around 1 p.m. near South Central Avenue and Jefferson Boulevard in South Los Angeles. The suspect was boarding the Dash bus, which offers free service, so she didn't have to pay. Tried to pay a dollar to the driver, and when she wouldn't take it, she attacked the driver. Whoop that trick. Look at her. What's up with her? She's tripping. She gave it to her. She looks like she got, got her. A, she got her off the don't bus. Don't fuck with the haircut. She's got a thong on. It looks like. Does she? Yeah. Ew, right, why are you uh, looking? Gross. Well, her ass is right oh, there. Oh, they are bra- She looks like a vampire, though. Rawr, don't be She's possessed, her. man. She got by, um, give give that bus driver lady. a raise. Uh, yeah, sure. uh, Hope they tipped her when they got At least a brown belt. It's a free <laughs> bus ride. Beat her up because she didn't want to, or because she didn't have to pay. All right, my next story. A man points a gun at a church pastor before getting tackled. Then the suspect's relative yeah. is found dead in the gunman's home. So the guy shot somebody at his house and then went up to church and tried to shoot the pastor. But I the crazy you. thing is, the gun did Jeez. not fire. Right. And this guy was saying that uh, he attempted to shoot, but the firearm failed to discharge, the police said. Yeah. He's 26 year old Bernard Jr. Watch this. Polite. Watch this. Not so polite. Oh, that's, that's damn it. No sound on this? That's not very polite of him. No. You need sound. Click, 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 click. Oh, damn it. He wasn't sure if he wanted to keep his pajamas on or wear shorts, so he just did both. Also, that dude in the white shirt saved the day. Yeah, he did. He wasn't very happy with the message, I guess, that weekend at the church why are they also worked up for the gun doesn't work well, well it worked early at his house i'm kidding i'm kidding good job bro look at the guy's face yeah, yeah. there boy yeah, I, i'd be freaked out i would be uh, especially the the pastor what? said he just looked up and he saw the gun like and yeah. the guy said that god told him to do it but apparently he didn't because when he got in there he was like no nah, it's not what i said motherfucker click safety so the gun didn't go off. That was God's know. work there, stopping him. What? Was it? What, Ramo? It I wasn't. I don't know. Get some help. Get some help. Get some know. help. You know, I don't you know what that was. You don't know anything. Dude, broken gun. Al Capone's Colt 45 pistol sweetheart is going up for auction, baby. Ooh. Al Capone's favorite gun, known by the nickname Sweetheart, is on the auction block. Capone's family members say it saved the mobster's life on several occasions. This pistol has an estimated value between $2 million and $3 million. Did he put a That's thing up nuts. there of it? Oh, okay. Who, who, who would, uh, would want to spend that kind of money? There it is. That's Jeez. it. Sweetheart. That's sweetheart, huh? I give you yeah. 300 bucks for it. I wonder how many bodies are on that thing. A lot. Two or $3 million. There was also some other things they sold, like his like pocket knife. He had like a little uh, Swiss Army knife. All right, my last story is U.S. sailing boat. Flips over during uh, practice runs, and the whole team has to bail out and flip out of the boat. A wild scene unfolded during the third fleet race of practice day at the Apex Group Bermuda Sail Grand Prix. Crazy. This past Friday, members of the Team USA went flying out of their boat after it capsized. Oh, shit. 
Damn. That looks scary. That yeah, hell yeah, look at that. Oh. And that water's moving. Look at that. He gets stuck in one of those oh, currents. He's lucky that dude got caught in the sail. That's probably might have been the best place to be. He got yeah, caught by the sail. He did. I hope they are right, man. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a little pretty far fall too. Five of the six oh. crew members on the boat for the U.S. team were sent overboard, though no serious injuries were sustained. Do they have helmets? I hope. I don't know. That would help. That's the news. Yeah. That's the news for today, May the 8th. Some of it, anyway. 2024. <laughs> Give or take. Not so good news. The unimportant shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit news. Right. Well, it was a heck of a show. It was fucking right we Sorry. did uh, we, we were the fried guys i'd like fried to ask guy. tomcat who has the best uh, fries after you tried all those fries who's tasted the best i usually like five guys i feel like i like there's the best you McDo- all after them all of them though tasting the mcdonald's they were the most like you knew which one it was because the most piddly little skinny yeah shit yeah the, all the other ones Shoe were streams. like an actual potato Central. fry, so they it made it like it made it streams. difficult with all the other three. The other three, which was Wendy's, Five Guys, and Burger King, those were more like p- traditional fries. The McDonald's fry is in a league of its own. I don't even know what the hell that thing is, and but you, it's good. Did you like any of the fries, Memphis? Did you care for any of them? No, I did not. Not <laughs> that, I did not. Nope, sir, man. I did not. I'll eat fast food, man. I mean, okay, we, you we, told us that. Yeah, I, that. I cut my fries at the house. You know, save money and places like easy. You know what I mean? Yeah, you don't get it because you're too, cool. Healthy, you're too cool, man. Too cool for a French fry. Now, our, now our yeah. champion, let's tip our cap to the champ. Champ. Hey. Rainbow hey. Jesus. Yes. He is the king of fried potatoes. I am. I love him. Hey. And, and who's your favorite? Five guys, your favorite of them all? 100%. You know, and that's not to say the other ones aren't good when they are fresh. And that's all of them, too, because even five guys gets kind of. Yeah, what about when they're the, not fresh. What about, do you get them Cajun? I like it when you get the little oh, Cajun Oh, uh, from like, uh, what is it? Not Raleigh's. Five, five Guys does that. You can get do Cajun. They, oh, really? Style. No, I never do that. I'm Ooh. good with that. But uh, I think uh, Checkers does that as well. So the Cajun, the season fries. They still got I'm not a big fan. They have a new one in Cape Coral. God damn, I thought yeah. they all went out of, out of business. Yeah, but, they, but the Five Guys fry fresh off the, you know, fresh out, like that's perfect. It's, good. it's a mental... Health Awareness Month here, and we <laughs> encourage you, if Clearly. you need, need help, go to betterhelp.com slash outcast and use our promo code mm-hmm. and cash in on that discount yeah. and get your mental health right. Please. We thank everybody for listening to the Outcast podcast. Uh, we'll be back next week, God's willing. Shout out to Jacob and Jordan back in the truck. Peace out. We'll see <laughs> Look at this oh. fucking thing. <laughs> the fucking oh Steve God. Harvey flashlight. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. That's, that's a lot of hair. Oh Hell my God. No. Nah. Way. Steve Harvey flashlight. That's going to be for your birthday, TK. We, yeah, getting we know he's doing it tonight. <laughs>